Today we're going to talk about what lives in cold water streams and invasive species for steelhead trout. But how does that translate into our tank and our classroom? Well, for one, we've got a lot of life supporting critical pieces of equipment in there. We've got clean water, uh, we've got limited lighting, we've got food, we've got oxygen, a few other things. Let's go into the tank and get a closer look, okay? But first of all, are our steelhead fry healthy? Well, they are, they're very healthy. We've got a lot of them, there's, there's over 40. Um, we did start with over 50 eggs, if you remember, and we have had a few die off in the last few days. So we're, I'm a little bit concerned about that. And it's kind of scary being, being the caretaker because when something like this happens, you just want to know, what can I do to help these, these fish? I don't want to have them die. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about that as I get into the tank, okay? So let's go in, take a look. Thanks. We're underwater here in the tank, and the tank is actually in really good shape, but we did have a few fry that have died, and you'll get, we'll get them on camera. There's one right in the middle of the screen there, and there's another one here. Take a look. He's got uh, a steelhead fry in his mouth uh, that appears to have died. So he's feeding off of that guy. And this will happen in the wild. Uh, fish will feed off of other dead fish and plants and organisms, as we discussed last week. But um, this fish, you know, he died, and uh, another steelhead fry is feeding off of him. But other than that, we have cold, clean water. We have a lot of healthy steelhead fry in here. Um, there is, you know, good amount of oxygen. We're feeding them correctly. The water's not cloudy. Um, take another look at this one in the center of the screen. He's swimming a little bit slowly. Uh, it could be a number of things. It could be a, a genetic defect from an egg. Um, it could be unknown. Uh, there's also a thing called whirling disease, which can, can look like this, but we're not quite sure. Other than that, the tank is in great shape. Okay. And what can you do in your part to help these fish survive? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week when we release our steelhead fry.